Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS offices in Seattle. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot the reasons for an unexpected Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Linux instance reboot. Let's get started. Let's move to the Amazon EC2 console. And then, let's click on Instances in the navigation pane on the left-hand side. There are several reasons why an Amazon EC2 Linux instance might have rebooted, and figuring out which one applies to your instance requires you to look in several different places. The first thing to look at is your instance's status check history. If your instance didn't fail a system status check, then it might have rebooted because of OS level issues. You can review your instance console output for errors. Note that the instance console output is limited to 64 kilobytes and is not live. The output you see in the console is updated shortly after an instance transition state, such as a reboot. You can retrieve the latest serial console output using the command line interface, conveniently available with AWS Cloud Shell. Use the command get console output with the latest option. If you don't find any errors here, the next best place to check is within the instance itself. Connect to your instance, and then run the following commands to determine whether a user or application initiated a reboot from within the instance. You can also find more system logs at varlog messages or varlog syslog, depending on your distribution. Finally, you can check AWS CloudTrail, which contains a log of all API events over the last 90 days. Navigate to the CloudTrail console, then select the Event History page. From here, let's check for Reboot Instances API calls, which are sent if an instance was rebooted by the console, the CLI, or an API. Make sure that you set a range when you check this. And now you know how to troubleshoot the reasons for an unexpected Amazon EC2 Linux instance reboot. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.